third lesson of drawing the Ferrari Type 156 and instead of doing the bottom of the car like I said I was going to do first I decided to go ahead and start to darken in more of the area here in the rear and along the whole top I, that's as far as I got today but I'm going to bring this up to a value that looks like the base red and then from there I'll work on the darker sections which are down here near the bottom as the body rounds downward around the car and also underneath this lip which overhangs the fuel tank area here and that shows some roundness but in order to do that I had to have a value that's dark enough up here to be able to figure out how to work the darker area down at the bottom and I didn't want it to get lost I didn't want it to uh, to run away from me and get so dark that I wouldn't be able to show uh, a darker value below it so that's the balancing act that I play with with ink is all I have is the black so I'm trying to use that as as judiciously as I can carefully so that I don't lose the value so that I it I can make it look realistic but the car's really coming along exactly the way I wanted it to I'm, I'm just thrilled the way it's working out so far I did darken up the the offside the tires that are the farthest away from you I did darken those up enough so that it gives you some idea of the actual architecture of the car itself. Now you can see the, the mechanics of how it works. And uh, now all I need to do is to bring this back around to the front, darken up underneath the car here, and then darken in the area where the, where the car kind of sucks down in order to give room enough for the tires to turn, the wheels and tires to turn uh, for steering clearance. And then from there, we'll, we'll be started on, on actually getting this thing done. Like I said, the wheels, uh, being wire wheels, are going to be quite time-consuming. I want to get those right, and I want to make them really look good. On most of my cars, I look at them from like a three-quarter front view or three-quarter rear view, so you only see a little bit of the front wheel, whether it's a, a mag wheel or mag-type wheel, uh, some multi-spoke cast wheel, or whether... A wire wheel but it can be very troublesome when both of them are the same now people can compare both so I have to make sure both of them are right it's going to take a long time to get that right and I don't want to screw up the time that I've already put in it so I want to make sure everything looks good and, and it's uh, it's my idea to make this into the best looking car that I can so that's what I always try for I want this really to look nice this is uh, hopefully going to be another one of my of my greeting card line which is what I'm doing with this right now is uh, it's not going to be out for this this holiday season but hopefully it will be for the next one uh, it's going to go along with my book and then and then uh, it'll be something that I'll be able to put out and I have talked to a, a person who does printing so with any luck we'll be able to get enough images to make it worthwhile to bring out a line of our own and that's where we are um, partial Ferraris like I say I have said before, my dad had a Ferrari, a Type 166, and uh, now it's uh, they're kind of a, a love of mine is Ferrari, so I thought I would go ahead and do another one, and this, uh, this is one of my favorites because the guy who drove these cars, who became the first American world champion, Phil Hill, was always a hero of mine, and, and uh, I drew a portrait of him, and he was gracious enough to both pose for the portrait then after I had finished it, he autographed it, although he was suffering very badly from Parkinson's at the time. It was very kind of him to do that. So this is kind of a, an homage to them to, uh, to say thank you to draw this car. Anyway, that's where we are. Um, I hope you enjoyed so far. Uh, tomorrow, I hope to at least be able to finish the, the upper side of the car with this, this much color. And then we'll start working on the bottom tomorrow and I'll bring a little bit more detail into the engine portion in here, the part that it, that's exposed, the cam covers in there, and the exhaust system, which comes out here. And then uh, after I get the body done, then I'll be able to come in underneath it with the shadow that's uh, cast by the car itself. And that will give it some mass and you'll, you'll see that it'll actually pop off the page a little bit and that'll make it, uh, make it look a lot more rousing. So... It should be great. Thank you very much. Bye.